Up for today. Five scoops of black motors to spread. That shop works really good for that, doesn't it? This turned out to be a beautiful day to do this type of work on. As you can see, Carter, he's, he's staying pretty busy there. I was pretty uh, happy with that, too, because, you know, when you're young like that, sometimes you just don't really have an interest. I know when I was a little boy, I would get out in the gardens and work with my grandparents, but uh, there were times, too, that I just wanted to go and play. But I've noticed that there's here, here recently, Carter seems to be more motivated when it comes to working and I'm really glad to see that, but <clears throat> all, we, all we're doing here, they already had this bed cleaned out, and uh, right there, I'm kind of unhooking his water hose, and uh, then I move this to the sidewalk to get it out of the way, and uh, they already had, had it weeded the last, I had done this job for them before, maybe a couple times before, and uh, I weeded it the other times myself, but this time, they, they had it weeded, so it was so much easier. And so all I had to do, they they wasn't wanting fabric. They used preen, which uh, helps prevent weeds. They just, once the mulch is down, they sprinkle that on. But uh, while we were there, uh, I got four scoops of this black mulch. And it was like a, a bobcat scoops too, which, which aren't full yards. Probably about a half a yard per scoop. And so this took, let's see, I guess that would be maybe two and a half yards or so. Three yards, maybe something like that to uh, do this area here. And we had a, a, just enough left over to do two trees that he had there as well because he's wanting two trees done. And uh, while I was there, uh, they decided that they wanted me to do a little bit more as well. He removed some bushes while I was there with his truck. While I was doing this, he removed the bushes. And then Carter loaded those up onto the trailer while I was doing other stuff. And uh, once he got those loaded up, uh, they had some monkey grass that they wanted removed as well on the other side of their house. And so I got my shovel and, and removed that. So we ended up doing a brush removal and uh, mulch installation on this job here. And uh, made pretty good profit on. I'm very happy with what I made. Very, I enjoy this kind of work. It's very enjoyable. It's, it's great to get Carter to go with me. He's really just now starting to go more with me and be more hands-on himself. Uh, like uh, now whenever I go and do firewood, he's, he's splitting. You know, he splits, not really for production, he's just practicing, you know, but I'm glad to see that. And then uh, <clears throat> when I'm doing landscaping, he's he's actually joining in and helping me, which he's been helping me for years, like with firewood. When I go and deliver it and stuff, he'll, he'll help me unload it and stack it and everything like that. And he enjoys it, and I think it's very important to do from a young age with children is to teach them uh, good work ethic and good morals and just what's right and what's wrong from a young age especially in the times we're living in now. Uh, but uh, as you can see, that mulch really makes those plants pop big time. I mean, it really, the contrast between that black mulch and the plant is beautiful. I like it a lot better myself than I do the red. Mulch to me is probably some of the prettiest stuff you can get for flower beds. The only bad thing with it is you've got to, you've got to redo it every year. You know, once, once it just breaks down over the year. And this mulch here is treated as well, so it's really smart to wear gloves. I don't have any on there. Carter does, but uh, it's really smart to have gloves on here. This type of work is very enjoyable. I, I love landscaping. I love just being outside and working with my hands, doing physical work. 
it's something I always believe I always will enjoy as long as I'm able to, Lord willing. But uh, these people right here, I worked for my first year. I'm into my fifth year now in landscaping. And uh, this winter will be my fifth year in firewood as well. My, so my fifth year uh, having my own business and working for myself, and I love it. Don't plan to ever go back. It has its ups and downs. There's definitely much more to manage when you're working for yourself. you got equipment. You've got people. If you've got them helping, you've got the job itself and customers. And so you've, you've got you've got to manage and you've got to run the business at the same time, your equipment and everything else. There's the bushes that he removed. He removed quite a few of them. And then the, the monkey grass is in there as well. And so I loaded that up and tied it down with some ropes and uh, brought it brought it here to my home. What I do sometimes, I lot of, many times I'll get I'll uh, they'll have things removed and I'll use them because they'll be good bushes and stuff still, but they'll maybe won't like them in the area that they're in or whatever. And so they'll they'll have me remove them and I'll use them or I'll give them to somebody else. There's been many things that I've uh, removed from uh, landscaping jobs that I've used or either given to somebody else to use. I've actually got probably six to eight bushes in front of our home that I put in that that were from a job years ago uh, where they had had me remove these bushes. And, and every one of them were healthy. Every one of them's alive and well right now. But you can make good profit with these jobs too. This job right here didn't take, uh, we talked quite a bit. I would say labor-wise, honestly, uh, probably two hours labor-wise. And it was $125, so... That's pretty good. You can do much more in a day than, than just this if you want to. I've made six fifty a day before uh, doing landscaping jobs, and some guys make way more than that. You know, that was a good, for me that was a good day, a six fifty. But uh, you can make good money doing this kind of stuff, and it's just very enjoyable work. There's some oak trees. I believe he said they planted those when they, when they got there. Maybe there he said they were like three feet when they got there, but they've grown a whole lot. But uh, yeah, it's very enjoyable work, and they were very happy with it. It's all, I'm always happy to hear them say they're they're satisfied with the work. You know, never want to do a job and somebody not be satisfied with it. And I have had that in the past with certain things. Uh, maybe I did something a way they didn't like or whatever, and then but then I tried to fix it. So it's very important to do, in my opinion. This job, all in all, turned out very well. We went in there very long, made good profit on it. It was a beautiful day, not not too hot, but it was sunny perfect day for this type of work and they were happy with it so and they had some more work on the side of their house over there that they want me to come back and do as well and so i'll, I'll plan to record that as well and plan to have many more jobs like this to come i do uh, mulch i do heads trimming head removal retaining walls lots of different things and so uh, i plan to i plan to post some landscaping videos on here as well tomorrow i've got a junk removal job to do and i'll probably record that as well so i like to stay busy uh, you know, I like to rest too uh, from time to time, but it's it's good to stay busy. It, for me personally, it's peace of mind. You know, I know that I've got income. I'm working. I'm not sitting around with my mind wandering, and uh, I know I'm doing what I need to do. I sure do appreciate everybody's support, all the supportive words, and all the positive feedback. Everybody who takes their time to watch and to comment, I really appreciate it. Me and my family both. We really enjoy this type of work that we do. But Lord willing, until next time. Thanks for watching, be safe, and God bless you.